now second is a customer independent requirement this is called as a firm order it can be put into the demand management in place of sales order so sales order is equal to your customer independent requirement so if you say here cir customer independent requirement is called as a Okay, requirement is equal to your sales order. Now, what is means of sales order? Suppose you are buying a product on online, okay, Amazon or something. You want to buy a wristwatch, okay, digital wristwatch. Cost is 3000 rupees. You like it, you pay the amount and you confirm it, right? And you will get, okay, within two days, it will come to you. Now, here what happened? You already pay the product. After paying the product, sales order is generated for whom? Then, uh, wristwatch manufacturer company so titan is the or fast track so for them the one order is placed getting my point so that order is become fixed sales order clear are you getting my point team yes, sir. Order is yeah. fixed, where payment is done. now take example suppose you want to buy a flat okay nowadays you know the, the flat is buy okay in which we have people go to the uh you can say builder uh premises and they Discuss with the builder. Okay. I would like to have one BHK, two BHK, show me the sample flat. Okay. Or what is your scheme? What are the things you are going to provide? So they will show the model sample flat. Okay. They like the way structure, they show see the amenities, they see the uh, 3D model of whole uh, society, how the society is going to look like, what are the amenities going to be provided, and everything, everything. After looking, so what happened to purchase a flat? People go to 10, 15 different builder, 10 different uh, plants, okay? And then they like floor plan, they like the way amenities, they like the builder is providing facilities and everything. Then finally, people do the booking, okay? So they say, okay, I will put, put booking of one lakh rupees. I will give my confirmation. I would like, I'm having interest. So they put one lakh rupees. So is it a firm order or it is a PIR? It's a firm it order. Is, it is a firm order or it is a PIR. It is a PIR. CIR or PIR. You've done the booking PIR. with one lakh of PIR. Okay. Yes, because it is not uh, not yet fixed. It is only just booked the uh, mm -hmm. flight only. Booking okay. Anybody? Okay. Uh, no. Great. Anybody else? Is it a PIR uh, or CIR? Uh, it's CIR, sir, because we did the booking. It is CIR. Okay. Anybody else? Because that booking will also cancel. It is okay, not fixed. Right, right. Let's try to understand. See, booking is a tentative. It's a booking only. You can cancel that letter, right? When it becomes confirmed, when you will have agreement between builder and you there is called as a customer sales agreement okay nowadays this agreement happen with the government right government is in between your bank is also there okay and there is a agreement happen between you and builder you pay some stamp duty registration amount okay sdr stamp duty register amount and then the booking is happen or not booking not happen we can say agreement happen between you and builder I am interested to purchase your flat. You are going to sell me this flat for this much quantity, this much area, and on this floor, this uh, unit. Okay. These are the amenities. These are the date on which I am going to have the possession or something like that. When I do this payment, this is your payment plan. I am agreed to pay according to the plan. If you fail to sell me, you will give me this much amount of rupees. If I fail to uh, give the amount on time, I will pay, pay this much penalty. All these terms and conditions, blah, 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 blah. 10 page, 10, 15 page agreement is done. And at that time, once agreement is done, neither you can uh, step out or builder can step out. Okay. Right. So in this way, you are getting entangled with each other with some uh, agreement and that is become final uh, firm order. Okay. Now nobody can break this. If somebody breaks, they have to pay the penalties. Happen, there are deals happen which got broke, but there are penalties. But 99.9% this goes on okay when everybody's sure and confirmed then only 
this agreement happens sales agreement happen okay when sales agreement happen that is your firm demand 99.9 percent .9 it is not going to change do you understand everybody yes sir yes clear but in case yes. of pir there is no assurance people just wait okay somebody went to your sales office and you say oh i want to buy up one bhk flat show me the answer so first of all they put a one inquiry form in front of you sir please uh, give your details what you would like to have what is your uh, budget okay up to how much capacity you are looking for okay what kind of carpet area what kind of floor you are looking for from where you are got this uh, idea about our society or something like that they take a lot of information but that is only a understanding of what kind of flat people are looking they are looking one bhk or two bhk what is most demanding or three bhk okay so from that they just try to understand what is the requirement that inquiry then by doing a lot of follow-ups giving some uh discount some uh, offers to the customer then the customer will might get converted into the fix then he will do the booking that booking is also still tentative finally once the agreement happens then it's can convert into the successful sales order okay so that is called as a customer independent requirement cir okay i hope you are clear what is the cir and what is pir pir is equal to demand is equal to forecast and customers is equal to sales order okay clear team everybody agree yes, okay 